Hi everyone, I'm Krista Seiden, and in this video, we're gonna dig into the differences between Google Analytics for Firebase and Google Analytics for Properties in terms of how you use and analyze your data. With that, let's go ahead and jump into the slides. So Google Analytics for Firebase and Google Analytics for Properties actually use the same SDK to collect data going into Google Analytics. And it's actually Google Analytics data, regardless of how you're looking at this data, whether that be in Firebase or through the Google Analytics user interface. But there are different purposes and different audiences for these different UIs. Google Analytics for Firebase is great for app analytics for developers. It's really designed for developers and it has a developer-centric reporting and dashboard feel as the default experience. It also allows you to use integrations with other parts of Firebase, such as A-B testing, remote config, and other tools for helping to manage your app. Google Analytics for properties, on the other hand, are really meant for more of your marketers and your analysts looking at your app and web data together. They're highly customizable with reporting dashboards that help to meet advertiser and marketer needs. There's an advertising workspace with built-in reporting and activation tools to help you leverage your analytics data in ads much more seamlessly. So in essence, this is the same data, but different use cases. Google Analytics for properties are the future vision for all. It captures web data or app data or both combined. It operates off the same Google Analytics SDK for Firebase as the Firebase UI. And it helps to unify collection, processing, and reporting of web and app data, leveraging user ID and Google signals. In addition, there are a ton of new cutting edge features and reports for apps, specifically in the Google Analytics 4 property user interface. There are a ton of benefits of using Google Analytics 4 properties for apps. It's scalable for your business. It helps you expand your reach to acquire more customers. It has privacy controls and it's responsible, durable measurement. It provides ad hoc analysis and improved data visualization for a deeper understanding of your users. And Google Analytics 4 properties bring in the intelligence and machine learning capabilities that automatically surface insights, anomalies, and predictions. Let's look at a few things that are only available in Google Analytics 4 properties. First, we have analysis for insight. So why even use Google Analytics 4 for your data? First, ease of use. Explorations in Google Analytics 4 provide quick ad hoc analysis, and it makes things easier and more accessible for more users who would otherwise need to use SQL-like queries to analyze that data. It also provides ad hoc analysis where you can create segments and apply them retrospectively to historical data. You can promote those segments to audiences and apply them on a go forward basis. Google Analytics 4 properties also offer a wide range of additional reports that you won't find in the Google Analytics for Firebase user interface. And these are in the exploration section. So first we have pathing. This helps you to understand the action that users take between steps within a funnel to help explain why users did or did not convert. And you can select out multiple paths at a time, as you can see in the animation, really allowing you to dig into these different paths that users might take through your app or even through your website. Funnels identify important steps to conversion and understand how users navigate the key steps to those conversions. For a quick example of our funnel exploration, we can see here how users are succeeding going through each game level. So we have level one, level two, level three, all built out as individual steps within this funnel. And we can see how many users progressed along with their completion rates, abandonment rates, and so on. Next, we have freeform exploration. And this is really a table report that you can add the dimensions and metrics to that you want to analyze together. So here we're looking at a pivot table to analyze gender interests and users across various demographics and interests. Next, we have the cohort exploration. Now this does appear in the Google Analytics for Firebase user interface in some form, but in the Google Analytics for property user interface, this report allows you to do so much more. You can slice and dice what you have here, change the metrics and dimensions that you're interested in and go a whole lot deeper. And there are additional exploration techniques available in Google Analytics for properties. There's segment overlap, where you can compare up to three user segments to quickly see how those segments overlap and relate to each other. User exploration, 
where you can select specific groups of users, such as users who engage with your property on your app and drill down on that data and the actions that they took. And finally, user lifetime, where you can understand the cumulative impact of marketing and optimization efforts over the customer lifetime. Another thing that's available only in the Google Analytics 4 user interface is games reporting. This is an out of the box collection of reports specifically for games developers to help them understand things like the performance across the entire funnel and many more things around monetization. Finally, we have e-commerce reporting, and this is specific to Google Analytics 4 properties as well. This will help you go deep on questions like which product is purchased most often, which products are shown to users, and so on. And this really allows you to dig deep into how your e-commerce store is performing, both on app and on web. So as you can see, there are a lot of benefits to using Google Analytics 4 properties to analyze your Google Analytics data. And it really is going to depend on the use case that you're looking to solve. Remember that if you're a developer and you're looking for features that are specific to Firebase, such as A-B testing or remote config, it might be best to use the Google Analytics for Firebase interface. But if you're a marketer or an analyst or looking to take advantage of any of the additional features that we've gone over in this video, I highly recommend that you check out the Google Analytics 4 Properties user interface.